Oh, and I should add, that was all the blue ghosts and the uh, cheese mice that you can find in the first chapter. I just thought I would mention that. Or I should say the first area of the game. Uh, so we're going to be finding a lot more later. Anyway, continue on down this room. I recommend that you have your vacuum out so you can suck the mice in as you go. Now you'll notice that there's other fake doors in this room. Uh, so just use your map to figure out which door is real. I'm pretty sure this is the real one. Yeah, I'm, I'm standing right in front of it. This is a locked door, so I'll just open this. And uh, there's a ghost by that mirror. It's a lady there. All oh, that other ghost that uh, I took care of in the other room, they all have their own names. Um, I'm either going to have to put up annotations for the ones that I forget their names on, because you know me and names. I'm pretty bad with them. But the guy that we found there was named Nelville. Uh, the... Uh, I should, excuse me, it was Neville or, or something like that, or Nelville. Uh, no, wait, maybe it was Nelville. Anyway, this one in this room is called Lydia. Um, her weakness is to uh, open up this window here. It's a cracked window. It'll make a breeze come in, which will chill her. And then you stun her with the flashlight, and then you try to suck her in. And that's about it for catching her. These are all beginner portrait goals, so there's nothing really all that special to catching them once you get a hold of them with your um, vacuum. So there we go! And that'll also clear the room nicely, and start shaking up the uh, stuff, like the furniture and stuff like that, to uh, get as much loot as you possibly can, including the picture frames on the walls. Yes, you can shake those as well. Um, whenever you see dust appear from something, that means that you shook it enough to get an effect out of it. If it's going to give you something, it's going to give you something. If not, if not, uh, you can try again later, as I said, um, to get stuff if if something doesn't appear the first time. But I probably won't do that because it's going to be really time-consuming. So, Oh, and you can also pull sheets off of beds and stuff like that with your vacuum. It's pretty entertaining, actually. Uh, you can also pull them off of tables and other stuff like that. Ooh, gold bar. Worth a lot. Um, this fan up here, here's one. You have to try and spin this fan. Um, just keep pulling it like this. Pull it. Pull it. And there we go! We got some money! Who hides their money in a ceiling fan? Well, I guess that's a pretty good hiding, sp hiding spot, but still, wow. Anyway, open the chest, grab the key, and go to the next room. Which is right down the hall from here. Uh, so, oh, by the way, in case you don't realize, this is the balcony that we were at before with the toad there. Just saying, these rooms are all interconnected in some way, so you can see other rooms from certain rooms, and you'll see a little cutscene. When you exit this room, it's kind of spooky, babies crying, and then you open this up here. Um, what you want to do here before you do anything, uh, do not... Do not shake, I should say, you'll see this baby in, in his crib there. Do not shake this rocking horse over here. Uh, what you should do is loot the rest of this room first. Um, yeah, I can pick up and throw balls with my vacuum. Ooh, there's a heart there. Oh, I should also explain something else about the portrait ghosts. Um, depending on what your health is when you defeat them, depends on what kind of frame and what picture you get out of them. Like, if you defeat a, a portrait ghost, when they ha when you have 100 to 90 HP left, you'll get a gold frame. Um, 89 to 50, I believe it is, you'll get a silver frame, and anything lower than that, and you'll get a bronze frame. Anyway, once you sh uh, shake everything in this room... Oh, uh, wait, there's a lamp up here. Oh, it gives me some coinage! Yeah! Then, what you want to do is shake the rocking horse over here. It'll upset the baby. It'll wake it up. Hello there. Um, uh, sure. Why not? Oh no! Um, what you have to do here is suck in the teddy bears. That's all you have to do. Uh, I'll avoid the baby, of course, at the moment. You can't do anything, but he's very, very slow. He ain't gonna do anything to you either. Uh, well, I guess... I thought there was gonna be more bears being thrown in. There we go. Now grab the ball and throw it at... I said grab the ball. <laughs> I want to get rid of the bears first, because they'll get in my way here. Grab the ball and throw it at the baby. And that won't make him very happy. And do that... Oh, I thought you had to do it two more times. Never mind. <laughs> oh, you gave me an owie! I just wanted to play with you. I hate grown-ups. Why do you have to be bigger than me? I've had enough small. No, grow small. 
grow smaller? That makes no sense. If you grow, you get bigger, but you can't grow smaller. Anyway, it's boss time! This game's very first boss. His name is Chauncey. Oh, poop. Crapper zappers! It's mad! Alright, here we go. Uh, its weakness is exactly the same as before. You have to hit it with a ball first with your uh, Poltergust 3000 and then suck it in with it. It's a lot tougher than your normal ghost and will break free from your Poltergust when you suck it. Um, at first here, you have to dodge some uh, rocking horses. Not that hard at all. I just took a hit from the ball, though. I wasn't expecting that. Anyway, grab that, angle it towards the baby with the C stick, and then throw it at the baby. Now suck in that baby. Yeah! Suck in as much of it as you possibly can before he breaks you free. He breaks you free about every 25 damage you do to him, and then he goes all crazy like this and goes around the room counterclockwise, or I should say the bed counterclockwise. Just follow him. No problem whatsoever to dodge him. To dodge him. So, uh, now he's gonna have some more rocking horses. Whenever uh, they get to where you are, then they uh, come right after you, basically. So as long as you stay moving in a direction as they're coming for you, you're not gonna take a hit from those rocking horses. But he does make an exception later on in the battle where he has some horses that throw you off, they just go in their own direction. And uh, they aren't this, like they don't go after you like the other ones do. So that's that's kind of like a tricky part if you can call this boss tricky. This boss is not hard at all, in case you don't realize that. But it, you know, it shouldn't be, it's the first boss in the game. Oh, I guess he does go around clockwise. I always remember him going around counterclockwise for some reason. But regardless, just predict where he's going and yeah. And, you'll be able to uh, just follow him, basically, around the room. And as you can see, his rocking horses get a lot faster as you go as well, and those are the two that don't directly aim for you, so just stand in the center, or along the left or right sides, and you won't take a hit whatsoever. Wait for a ball to land, just like before, so you can suck it in, and shoot it back at baby, Chauncey. Here we go! Woo! And he's gonna knock me off one more time, and the next time, I should be able to get him. Don't cry, baby. I'll have you back in your portrait before you know it. And the final phase, which is pretty much the same as the other one, except faster. I should say the other ones. So, yeah, just do the same old, same old. I would be actually quite surprised if you, if you do drop to, to less than uh, 90 HP after watching this video, if you ever had trouble with uh, this boss before. Because these balls, even if you take a hit from one of these balls, they only do 2 HP of damage. And there's only 4 phases of these balls, if, as long as you suck this baby in quickly. And there we go! Woo! First boss and the area of the game is completed. And then once you open this up, you're going to get a special heart key. There's a key based off of every suit in a deck of cards. Spade, heart, clubs, and diamonds. Um, those are very special keys which open those electrified thorny doors. And uh, you're going to need a call from Professor Egad, as you can see. Whenever you get a boss ghost, he's going to say it's going to fill up the Poltergust 3000. Um, so, you won't be able to suck up any more ghosts with it, so you're going to be automatically transported to the lab. And you're going to see one of the most, well, I shouldn't say one of the most, it, it is a pretty entertaining thing, but entertaining story, or I should say cutscene in the game, but there's pretty uh, other funny ones in the game as well, so I shouldn't say it's one of the most. You get kind of used to this one, but it's pretty silly. Um, so, you just plug your Poltergust 3000 into this slot here, and watch how it goes! Look how excited he is! <laughs> and 
And there's a portrait ghost. And it's gonna go through a whole load of stuff, and it has it has to press them into visible forms. Which, just if you think about that, is pretty silly. Now you'll notice that I got all gold frames for those, um, because I uh, defeated the ghost with uh, 90 HP or more. And I'll be aiming for that throughout the game, but they're completely optional to get rankings like that. Uh, but I, guess, I suppose if you want to be an ultra completist, you can do those gold frames there. There's only three portrait ghosts in the first area, but the first area is like a tutorial anyway. There's gonna be more in the next three areas. There's four areas in this game. And that's all for this part. I, well, I should say all for this area. Um, and it, at the end of every area, it'll give you a little total of all the stuff that you collected uh, throughout the area. I, did, I had a pretty good run of that first area. So this is definitely a keeper run here. And uh, I got 8,560,000 already, but you would think that that would be pretty daunting to get 100 million, but there's a lot of ways to get a lot of loot in later chapters, or I should say in later areas. Well, anyway, I am going to save the game and end it here. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I should say these parts, because I made like three parts in a row here, all in the same recording, and I'll just split them up later. Well, I hope you enjoyed them, and I will see you later.